a hundred years time, the methods and basic principles I think will still be very similar. It's just going to be how good does our equipment get to record it. In a hundred years time, we, we won't be in labs anymore. We'll, we'll sit behind a glass wall with our microphones or computers and we'll be telling robots to do what we want them to do. I mean, that's already happening now. There are labs you can go to that have machines that do all the experiments that I'm still doing by hand. I don't know what the field, the field I'm in mm. is going to be like in five years, let alone a hundred. It's such a yeah. like dynamic field. It's changing constantly. I feel sorry for electronic engineers. Yeah. Every year that goes on, everything just gets smaller and smaller. And they just get older and older and can't <laughs> see as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a bit hard to say how much would happen in that amount of time. Like probably a hundred years ago, the things that we're doing now didn't, weren't yeah. even considered. So it's hard to speculate. Because I guess all the technology industry moves a lot slower than, say, your phone or your laptop. The question of what I'll be doing in a in hundred years is such an optimistic question. I love it because it assumes that life extension is going to work and I'll be around a hundred years from now, uh, which I think is potentially true. Uh, the advances that are being made in medicine, uh, including elements from engineering, all of the uh, computer assisted scanning that we can do now, um, inserts that we can use, uh, potentially 3D printed organ replacements, all this kind of stuff. We could easily be uh, suggesting to, to young people today that they've got another one or 200 years uh, left in them at least. So I certainly hope to see uh, medical technology continue to advance like that. Um, uh, the way that I see my work continuing, because I try to stay fairly current, uh, the accessibility of, of um, advanced technology is the biggest element for me. The idea that in everybody's cell phone now are accelerometers and gyroscopes that were far above what early aviators used to navigate across countries and across oceans. Uh, it's just mind-blowing and that's just going to continue. People are investigating ways of examining a body to find out the cause of death but without actually performing the internal examination we perform. So CT scanning has been employed, imaging of bodies, sampling methods like that. And I'm hoping that given time, um, the two, the traditional school of we must do a full autopsy will to come to, somehow come to agreement with this new school which is saying an autopsy is a bad thing that must not happen um, and actually come up with a constructive approach that basically says well we will do the appropriate examination. I think there'd be a lot more automated components than what um, there currently is. So a lot of what I currently do, I feel could be done by computers or robots. Um, also, if keeping up with this new trend of new drugs being seen as often as what they are, I think there'll be a whole lot of new drugs that we would be analysing. If I was doing this job in 100 years time, I think all of the materials I would be dealing with would be completely different to the ones now with new inventions and technology and equipment too. The um, equipment we'd have available to us for analytical testing to actually be able to analyse and know what things are and how things react and how they deteriorate would be completely different. Um, and also the materials that artists make their work with will, will be totally different to what they are now. And at this point, we're still struggling with how materials made 20, 30 years ago, or five years ago, age. In 100 years' time, we don't really know what we might be looking at. I think the materials are most likely the thing that will change. Inevitably, there'll be more synthetic materials in collections, more audiovisual artefacts and technologies. So sort of looking at way, even more sustainable ways to manage collections. I think there's always going to be insects that are going to munch their way through textiles. Um, I think there's always going to be work for us. It might just change and how we ha the materials that we work on will change. We have to learn more about these modern materials and how they react. Um, but yeah, I think we'll still be, still be around in years to come. <laughs>